depths of silence where echoes remain. You were the sunrise, and I was the rain. A collision. Of... Happy Easter, guys! I'm watching Linda create with Linda and her daughter Jen. They're doing some cooking. But I'm in the process of cleaning. I'm dusting everything. I just dusted this off. And um, one second, Linda. I'm going to pause you for a second because I don't want to miss what you're saying. I love Linda. Great with Linda. And I still got to watch Pam's newest video. But the Easter Bunny came this morning. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to show you. But the kids got a lot of candy. And Alex got a ring. Um, he's been wanting a black ring and Florence got a summer outfit. So that's what they got. So I'm just dusting. I'm just, you know what it's like when your in-laws come over? Like, I just want the place to look good. They wouldn't care if the place was up in flames. They'd be like, wow, your house looks great. Like, they don't care. But I'm just like, I need to give the place a good dusting. So I literally took everything down, dusted everything. I'm going to do the floors. I just want it to look nice for them. Um, so I just... I found this in the basement. <laughs> Alex made this for me in school. I have candy emporium burning. It smells really good. You guys, I'm not even gonna show you as myself right now because <laughs> peekaboo, it's, it's, it's a lot. So I made six dozen rolls. I got up at 6 a.m. I got these in the oven right now going. These ready to go in. These are rising because I, uh, I'm making rolls for my sister's boyfriend's family for their Easter. Trevor's cleaning in here. He's giving, helping me out. So he's, I, th you know what, Trevor? I bet you the winter stuff could all just get put away, eh? I would think so. Yeah. So he's doing the mud room. We had like full blown Easter. Mom stayed the night. We had an Easter egg hunt here. I was up at 6 a.m. and made four dozen rolls for my sis. My sister's going to their house for dinner, like her future in-laws. And um, she wanted to bring rolls, but she was like a little bit like worried about like, I don't know if they'll turn out. I'm like, I'll just do them for you. So I did, and they're eating at lunchtime. So I did four dozen rolls at 6 a.m. And uh, cause, cause I need time to rise and stuff. And then these are, this is two dozen rolls and this is gonna be for my dinner tonight with Trevor's family. But this is going to my sister's. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I gotta make stuffing. I have to get the turkey in the oven. So I just wanna catch you up to speed. That's what we're doing here. Watching Linda as I clean, I'm gonna scrub the floors and oh, it's gonna be nice to get a nice, nice good cleaning done, but this is outside. Beautiful day. No sun, but the sunrise was pretty. I recorded that for you guys because I was up. Um, had a little cry this morning, you know, missing dad, but um, all is well. And um, I'm really looking forward to hosting the Glance for Easter. Um, I believe it's my first time, but part of me is like, did I do it once before? I don't remember. Here's Miss Florence. Happy Easter. I was telling the vlog you got a new outfit. Um, it's really cute. She actually got a couple little outfits. And um, Alex also got a cologne. So I got to dust this. Because this is not dusted yet. See? This is the worst thing. Like, I dust this probably more than anything in my house. And it just really, really, really collects dust. Or maybe it's just the way the sun hits it. But look at Florence and Alex. They were so little. People used to always think they were twins. Oh, so sweet. But I'm not gonna lie. I love Easter with older kids. Love it. Love it. I love all the holidays with older kids. And I found this in my basement. Like, what the heck? I didn't even know I had this. So, that's nice. I'm gonna, maybe I'll put that here. Yeah, I'm just getting ready for Trevor's family. I'm not sure how much I'll vlog and stuff today, but um, yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. We had a beautiful Easter. Mom stayed the night, so she wasn't by herself on Easter. It was beautiful. Uh, we had eggs all on the floor here, all the things. So anyways, happy Easter, guys. I'll check in in a bit. Happy Easter. So I am, so we got the turkey in the oven. And I have to say, Linda, 
I watch you do your turkey. I do my turkey the exact same way as you. I mean, I've only probably made four turkeys in my life, but I found the way that you do turkeys on YouTube like a year ago. Like it was like, I just seen someone doing it that way. And I was like, oh wow. So I do my turkey the same way. Like you like lift up the skin and you put the butter in with all the seasonings and you just let it melt in that as it cooks. And what's going on here? I think I want this tighter. Oh, hang on about this way. Um, so anyways, yeah, I was making my turkey as Linda was doing her turkey and I was like, oh my gosh, we're like little twins. So the turkey's been in the oven for a few hours and I'm about to start the stuffing. And these are our rolls. The other rolls went out the door and I just ripped apart two loaves of bread and I am going to just melt a stick of butter with some onion and turn that on. It's really easy. I can link down below. It's like a private video that I have that I sent to my cousin on how to make stuffing, but this is Trevor's mom's stuffing. So yeah, you just rip up the bread, melt some butter and onions. Some are savory. I noticed, I'll show you guys, in my video that I put up that's privated, all of the people from America were saying that you guys don't have summer savory. This is a very popular spice here. Like ev like everyone has summer savory in their house, I feel like in Canada. I did not know it was not available in the States. Um, so maybe it is, but from what I heard, you, you can't find this. So friends, help our American friends, where can they get something similar to summer savory or what is a similar blend or spice. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's from Nova Scotia. Anyway, this is a staple with our stuffing. So I'm not sure what a, a substitute would be, but yeah, so I just melt up the butter and the onions. <laughs> so you just do that. And then I just add in some like I don't measure anything, I just put in this. So it's just like, like the bolalin, bolalin, chicken bolalin or whatever. I just add in a few packs of those and chicken broth. So it's just basically you're hydrating that bread. It's really, really easy. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do, but I'll have a full tutorial linked down below. It's a private video that I sent to my cousin or posted for my cousin, but it shows you step-by-step step how I do the stuffing. So I'm gonna do the stuffing. I helped myself out last night and I peeled the potatoes and put them in water. I peeled the carrots, put them in water. The corn's frozen, so that's easy. So I did a, the bulk of the work last night, which was pretty good, it was pretty helpful because today I just had to worry about cleaning, doing the turkey and uh, the stuffing. So the stuffing's really, really easy. Oh, and then the cranberry sauce. It turned out really, really good. Really, really good. So frozen is a good way to do it. So I'm gonna get back to this and uh, I'll check in with you in a bit.
say goodbye. Look at this jazz channel I found. So they'll be here soon. We're almost at crunch time where you got to do the gravy and there's the rolls. So I do my gravy from scratch. So I use all of the juices from the corn and the peas and the carrots and the potatoes. So it's delicious, but it's like for 10 minutes of the meal, it's like stressful <laughs> making the gravy. <laughs> so getting things ready. I'm going to plate up the turkey on here. My stuffing is done. My cheeks are flushed. I'm doing something right. <laughs> I always look like this in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, so what else we got? I'm just kind of like, oh, you're sliding. I'm just trying to make sure everything stays hot while I, you know, you know what it's like when you do a turkey dinner. Turkey dinner is like the easiest meal, but yet there's like certain sections. You guys know, you guys probably have all made them, but there's like certain times where it's like crunch time, like everything gets done at the same time and uh, anyways, um, everyone should be here very, very soon. Um, all of our candles from Carol from Raising Rayburns are completely burnt. Um, so thank you again, Carol. She sent those to me at Christmas time and I got new candlesticks in there. They're nowhere as nearly as nice as the ones that she sent me, um, but these will do the trick. So fresh new candles and I got my flour and water all ready for the gravy. Oh, I'll sneak in too. Oh, okay. <laughs> you push in closer. Come, come on, honey, come on closer. Come on this way. <laughs> Another full load of dishes in the sink. Actually, more than in the sink. <laughs> we got a full night of dishes for ahead of us, but that's okay. Um, everyone just left. I had our supper a bit early because I know that his parents don't love to drive in the dark, so... Anyways, it was nice. We actually had a few. We had some of his, we had some of his siblings and in-laws and nephews. It was nice. Hey, Trev. Yeah. And look okay. at Trevor's outfit, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <Story>. <laughs> oh gosh. The meal turned out really well. I think everyone really liked it. Everyone went home with leftovers, and the cram. My father-in-law absolutely loved the cranberry sauce. Which made me so happy because he really loved it the last time I made it. I think I brought it for Christmas. I think that was our last big, big meal. And he really liked it. And I was really hoping the frozen cranberries would be as good. And it is. There's zero difference between the frozen cranberries and buying the cranberries fresh. So cranberry sauce is very easy to make if you like cranberry sauce it's like night and day compared to like the stuff you get in a can and it's so simple like it's literally orange juice sugar brown sugar cranberries and cinnamon and that's it and so i must have skipped the pineapple juice last time because it tasted the exact same um it's really simple it's so easy. So anyways, I'm really glad that that turned out because I wasn't sure. I'm like, did I forget a step? But I didn't. It, it was so easy. And so that's my third time making cranberry sauce. The very first time the recipe I was using was like not the best at all. Like I don't even remember what it was, but it wasn't as good. But this one was really good. Second time making this one and it turned out good. So you can use frozen cranberries in case you have troubles finding fresh cranberries when they're not in season. Um, but the turkey was good. I just love making the turkey that way with like the butter stuffed up in the skin and stuff. Like, I like doing that. I don't even think I showed you doing that. I was watching Linda do it. So I feel like I was doing it with you guys. But I was watching Linda do her, her turkey. But yeah, it was a really, really good day. I'm tired because I, I was up early and... Um, and then we did Easter. I didn't vlog any of it, but it was a nice Easter. Mom was with us and it was just really good. It, it really sucks not having dad here, but um, he was here, you know, but it's still, it's like, ugh. You really, really, really just, it's just, you know, 
it's just different when it's the first of everything like and it's not like we're these big easter people like at all but like it's still you know it was always something we would celebrate and you know come together as family and it's just when you have a missing piece, it's just so, it's so hard and it's just, you just really, really, really feel it um, on those days in particular. But got through another first and uh, yeah, it was good though. We had a great day, great weekend. I saw I spent all of Easter with my family and then with Trevor's family and it was like, what more can you ask for, right? Like it was, it was great. So anyways, I slowed down the vlogs a bit over March break because just really like was just really taking it easy. And you know, the house was full a lot with like the kids and friends and stuff. So I didn't vlog March last week. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. oh you want to say happy Easter? Oh. Easter. Happy she got Easter. those earrings she's wearing for Easter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <she's> <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and Florence have our own, like, accent, <laughs> language, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it, come out, it comes out in the vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it when I get all worked up. I can oh, hear wow. it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, when, when you're done, mm -hmm. I want to show you, um dresses that I like from my prom in two years that you just keep in mind. Oh, two years. okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was saying we're just, I didn't vlog much last week because I was just taking it easy with the kids and you know, it was nice. It was really, really nice. Um, but I'm sure they will pick back up <laughs> soon. They'll buckle up. I'm coming back. <laughs> Oh gosh. Anyways, I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. And oh my gosh, it's April Fool's Day when you guys are watching this. I should have pranked you. You know what? I hate pranks. I hate, I can't even watch pranks, like prank channels on YouTube. I cannot. Like, it makes me feel so awkward. And I just feel so uncomfortable watching pranks that, like, I want to cry. Like, I hate pranks. I hate them. So don't worry. I won't prank you, but. Anyways, happy April Fool's Day, happy Easter, and um, yeah, we'll pick things back up this week. I haven't been to the gym all week. I didn't go at all during spring break, so I'm excited to get back to walking and, well, maybe even outside. So the weather's been really nice, so I might be able to start it back up outside. But anyways, I'm just rambling. Hope you guys are well. Happy Easter, and I'll see you guys really, really soon in my next video. Good night! <laughs> You are the love I can't show you how to start to find your way I like the old-fashioned way Give me that sweet love Those warm up and kisses Oh, you are the love Sing it You are the love I can't show 